Have you ever been imprisoned by a grudge so deep? It feels like it's part of who you are? That constant gnawing inside that you can't shake off, even though you know it's holding you back? Now, imagine this. That same burden lifting, like chains falling away, leaving you lighter, freer, and filled with a sense of peace you've long forgotten. The key to unlocking this freedom is forgiveness. Forgiveness isn't about forgetting, nor is it about denying the pain that was inflicted upon you. It's not about giving in, nor does it mean you're excusing the wrong that was done. Forgiveness is about healing yourself. It's about letting go of the anger, the resentment, and the pain that tie you to that past hurt. And when you do, something remarkable happens. You reclaim your peace, your freedom, and your strength. Today, we are going to dive deep into the transformative power of forgiveness and letting go. Together, we'll explore how forgiveness impacts your mental, physical, and emotional health. We'll examine why forgiveness is such a difficult journey, but one that is essential for true healing. And along the way, we'll touch on insights from Stoic philosophy that can help guide us as we move forward on this path of healing. By the end, I hope you will feel empowered to let go of whatever pain you're carrying, not for them, but for you. So, ask yourself this. What is the cost of holding on to your pain, and what might you gain by letting it go? Stay with me on this journey, and let's discover the life-changing power of forgiveness together. What comes to mind when you hear the word forgiveness? For many, it conjures up an image of letting someone off the hook, of turning the other cheek, or of acting as though nothing happened. But true forgiveness is so much deeper and more profound than these simplistic ideas. Forgiveness is the conscious decision to release feelings of anger, resentment, or revenge towards someone who has hurt you, regardless of whether they deserve it or even seek it. It's about freeing yourself from the mental and emotional prison that resentment creates. But make no mistake, true forgiveness is not about the other person. It's about you and your peace of mind. When you forgive, you aren't condoning the wrong, nor are you pretending it didn't happen. Instead, you're choosing to stop letting that pain dictate your present and your future. Holding on to anger or resentment binds you to the past, keeping you locked in a cycle of suffering. Forgiveness is the key to breaking free from that cycle. Consider this metaphor. Imagine you're carrying a heavy backpack filled with stones. Each stone represents a hurt, an injustice, or a painful memory. As you carry this weight, it slows you down, saps your energy, and wears you out. Forgiveness is the act of taking each stone out of that backpack and setting it down. With every stone you let go of, you become lighter, freer, and more at peace. The act of forgiveness is not for the benefit of those who hurt you. It's for you, for your own health, happiness, and freedom. Let's take a moment to reflect on the impact that forgiveness has not only on our emotional state, but also on our physical health. The connection between mind and body is undeniable, and science has shown us that harboring resentment and holding on to anger can wreak havoc on your physical well-being. Chronic stress, anger, and resentment cause the body to release a constant flow of stress hormones such as cortisol and adrenaline. This fight-or-flight response, designed for short-term emergencies, can become damaging when prolonged. Over time, this constant state of stress weakens the immune system, making you more susceptible to illnesses, increases your blood pressure, and raises your risk of heart disease and stroke. It can even disrupt your sleep patterns, impair cognitive function, and lead to anxiety and depression. On the other hand, research has shown that practicing forgiveness can have a powerful effect on your health. Forgiveness has been linked to lower blood pressure, improved heart health, and even a stronger immune system. When you forgive, your body releases feel-good chemicals such as serotonin and oxytocin, which promote relaxation, enhance mood, and contribute to overall well-being. You'll find that the more you forgive, the lighter you'll feel, physically, emotionally, and mentally. But the benefits of forgiveness extend beyond the physical. It enhances your mental clarity, allowing you to focus on the present and the future rather than being stuck in the past. It brings about a sense of peace, balance, and emotional freedom, all of which contribute to a happier and more fulfilling life. 
The act of forgiveness, then, is not just an emotional release. It's a powerful form of self-care that has a ripple effect on every aspect of your life. The ancient Stoic philosophers had a great deal to say about forgiveness, although they didn't always frame it in those exact terms. Central to Stoicism is the idea that we cannot control external events or the actions of others. What we can control is how we respond to them. This is where forgiveness becomes not just an emotional act, but a philosophical practice. Epictetus, one of the most well-known Stoic thinkers, reminds us that it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. When someone wrongs us, their actions are beyond our control. What is within our control is how we choose to respond. Whether we allow their actions to continue to cause us pain, or whether we let go and move forward. Forgiveness, from a Stoic perspective, is not about condoning the wrong or forgetting the harm. It's about recognizing that holding on to anger and resentment serves no useful purpose. It doesn't change the past, nor does it protect you from future harm. Instead, it keeps you trapped in a cycle of suffering. When you forgive, you reclaim your power. You choose to rise above the hurt, to focus on what you can control, your own thoughts, actions, and emotions, and to let go of what you cannot. The Stoics also emphasize the importance of accepting reality as it is, rather than wishing it were different. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, once wrote, The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. In other words, the challenges we face, including the hurt inflicted by others, are opportunities for growth. By accepting what has happened and choosing to forgive, we transform our pain into a source of strength and wisdom. If forgiveness is so beneficial, why is it so hard? Why do so many of us cling to our anger and resentment, even when we know it's causing us pain? There are several reasons why forgiveness can feel so challenging, and understanding these reasons can help us navigate the path toward healing. First, holding onto anger can give us a false sense of control. When someone hurts us, we often feel powerless, and anger can serve as a defense mechanism. It makes us feel like we're taking a stand, like we're protecting ourselves from further harm. But this sense of control is an illusion. In reality, anger only keeps us tied to the person who hurt us, giving them more power over our lives. Second, forgiveness can feel like we're letting the other person off the hook, like we're excusing their behavior or saying that what they did was okay. But forgiveness is not about the other person. It's about you. It's about deciding that your peace of mind is more important than holding onto the pain. It's about releasing yourself from the grip of resentment, not excusing the other person's actions. Another reason forgiveness feels difficult is that it requires vulnerability. To forgive, we must first acknowledge the depth of our pain, and that can be uncomfortable. We may feel like we're reopening old wounds, and there's a natural fear of being hurt again. But remember, forgiveness is not about forgetting or allowing someone to hurt you again. It's about setting yourself free from the emotional prison that resentment creates. Finally, forgiveness can be hard because it's a process, not a one-time event. We may need to forgive the same person multiple times as new emotions surface or as we gain new perspectives on the situation. This doesn't mean that we've failed in our forgiveness. It simply means that healing is a journey, and each step forward brings us closer to peace. Let's talk about the toll that resentment takes on our emotional and mental well-being. Resentment is like a slow-burning fire. It may not consume you all at once, but over time, it wears you down. It eats away at your peace, your happiness, and your ability to fully enjoy life. Think about how much time and energy you spend replaying past hurts in your mind. How often do you find yourself reliving arguments, imagining what you could have said or done differently, or wishing things had turned out another way? Every moment you spend focused on the past is a moment you're not fully present in your life. And over time, this focus on the past can lead to feelings of sadness, bitterness, and even depression. But it's not just your emotional well-being that suffers. Your relationships can also be affected. When you hold on to resentment, it creates a barrier between you and the people around you. It's hard to be fully present, fully loving, 
or fully open when you're carrying the weight of old grievances. Resentment also has a way of distorting your perception of others. You may find yourself becoming more suspicious, more guarded, or more defensive in your interactions, even with people who have nothing to do with the original hurt. Letting go of resentment doesn't mean that you forget what happened or that you allow people to hurt you again. It means that you choose to prioritize your peace and your happiness over the desire to hold on to the pain. It's about recognizing that resentment is a burden you no longer need to carry and deciding to lay it down. As we talk about forgiveness, we can't ignore one of the most difficult yet important aspects of this journey, the act of forgiving yourself. So often, we carry the weight of guilt, shame, or regret over past mistakes, and this can be just as damaging as holding on to anger towards someone else. Forgiving yourself is an act of self-compassion. It's recognizing that, like everyone else, you are imperfect. You've made mistakes, but those mistakes don't define you. By offering yourself the same kindness and understanding that you would extend to a friend, you open the door to healing and growth. If you've been struggling with self-forgiveness, start by acknowledging the mistakes you've made. Own up to your actions and reflect on what you've learned from them. Then, make a conscious decision to release the guilt. Remember, guilt is only helpful if it leads to growth. Once you've learned the lessons from your mistakes, there's no need to carry the emotional weight any longer. Forgiving yourself is a powerful act of self-love. It allows you to move forward with confidence knowing that you are worthy of happiness, peace, and personal growth. It's a way of giving yourself permission to live fully without being held back by the mistakes of the past. Forgiveness is a journey, not a destination. It's a process that requires patience, reflection, and a commitment to your own well-being. But the rewards are immeasurable. By choosing to forgive, you're choosing to free yourself from the emotional chains that keep you tied to the past. You're choosing peace, clarity, and the ability to live fully in the present moment. Whether you need to forgive someone else or forgive yourself, remember that forgiveness is a gift you give to yourself. It's a way of reclaiming your power, your peace, and your happiness. As you continue on your journey, keep this truth close to your heart. Forgiveness is the most powerful act of love, compassion, and healing you can offer yourself. So take a deep breath. Release the anger, the pain, and the resentment. Allow yourself the peace that comes with letting go. And know that in doing so, you're opening the door to a life of greater joy, peace, and freedom.